Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys dried results. I never, I showed you guys the orange dried result, but it wasn't fully dry, it was still wet in the center. So I wanted to show you guys the now fully, fully dry results of the orange piece I did. And I had a thought, I was gonna do it on the reddish pinkish one, but someone ended up buying it and they wanted it left as is. This one is not sold yet. So if anyone is interested in this before I, I guess, embellish it, um, let me know. Um, but what I was thinking of doing was adding a circle of gold leafing um, on it. I've seen many other artists doing it on Instagram. So uh, I thought I would try that. Might be a little hard as a circle. I was hoping to do it you know, like on a square or rectangular canvas, but I might try it on this one, unless of course someone emails me and tells me they wanna buy this as is. Um, but if I do end up doing the gold leaf around it, I will do a video on it. I've never done it before, but I'm gonna try it and record it and show you guys anyway, why not, right? You guys can learn with me as I go. So that's that one, and then I will show you the dried results of my rainbow piece. Um, so this dried really well and see on this side, it looks great. So yeah, the white spots, um, I'm really hoping that one of my 2019 bottles wasn't affected by, you know, when Artist Loft changed their recipe. Uh, it could be that. So, um, I'll try again at some point. But uh, this painting has sold, so I'm really happy to report that. So it's gonna get a top coat of resin and it will be shipped off to its new home after I get back from Florida. I'm leaving soon, um, so I've got a lot on the go. Today's painting, oh, before we get to today's painting, don't forget, I still have calendars available for purchase. If anyone is interested in a 2023 calendar, uh, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. So you get 12 prints of my paintings in this calendar. So when the calendar year is done, you could actually frame them, put them up on your wall. So 2023 calendar, I always like to put it up here so I don't lose it, is now available for anyone who is interested. Uh, don't forget registrations for Charlotte, North Carolina. I think if my last video at the end, I'm like, oh, Naples, Florida. No, I'm so used to saying Naples, Florida, but that's not where we're going. Tammy and I are going to Charlotte, North Carolina, and we will be there February 18th and 19th. And we're super excited. We have things already getting organized. People are already sending deposits in. If you want information, you got to email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com. It's going to be held in a hotel this time around. So it's going to be really great because everybody who's coming that needs a place to stay, everyone's going to be in the same place. Even Tammy and I are going to be in the same place. The painting classes are going to be happening in the conference rooms of the hotel. The hotel is only 10 minutes away from Charlotte Airport and we have special discounted rates for the hotel rooms, which is awesome. And they do free shuttle service between the airport and the hotel. So you don't have to book a car rental, you don't have to take an Uber or a cab or anything like that from the airport to the hotel. So that is super great. And if you book a room at the hotel, you get complimentary breakfast every morning that you're there. So that's also another thing. So Tammy and I are super excited um, that we found this place. It's, um, it's going to be at the Hyatt, which is nice. Um, but yeah, we're super duper excited. And so if you want information, you want to sign up, shoot us an email. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm already counting down the days and it's like seven months away. But before you know it, seven months are going to come and go before you know it. And before you know it, it's going to be winter and February. Not that I'm wishing summer away. I really want to enjoy the rest of my summer. <clears throat> All right, so today's painting, I'm going to be doing another painting inspired by one of our students from Naples, Florida. So this student's painting, um, Mary, 
your painting has been selected. I really love the colors. And when I show them to you, you're going to wonder, like you might scratch your head and be like, I would have never put those colors together. So I'm going to try out her color palette. She was in our Sunday morning class. So Mary, if you're watching, thank you for the color idea. All right. So I'm going to get myself set up and we're going to get started. Be right back. All right, everybody. So starting off with a 12 by 24 inch canvas. And uh, let's see here, my base paint, I'm changing it up because of what happened in the last video. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try um, Amsterdam's Titanium White. So that is what I'm using for my base today. Titanium White by Amsterdam. And it's got a gajillion bubbles in it because I literally just mixed it, but that's okay. So Amsterdam Titanium White is my base and the colors I'm working on today. Are you ready for it? All right. Primary Magenta by Amsterdam. Then we've got Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebeo. Then Light Rose by Amsterdam. And then Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo. And then topping it off, primary yellow by Amsterdam. So first off, there's no gold and there's no silver. So again, another painting that I'm doing that doesn't involve 24 karat gold or silver. Now I will show you guys Mary's painting right here. This is how beautiful that looks. Now let's see what mine is gonna look like. So I shall put these back. And again, I would never think to put these colors together at all but you saw that painting it looked gorgeous so i'm going to flood my canvas and i shall be right back all right everybody canvas flooded ready to go so i'm going to do the same composition i did in my last video with the rainbows. All right, there's my magenta. Okay. And I'm gonna be using my flower hair dryer because this is a smaller canvas. I have a feeling I didn't put enough base paint on. I don't know if you noticed. I was, I literally scraped that cup out. I do, I did have more, but, um, We'll see what happens. That's why I'm kind of loading on these colors. I want to make sure I have enough when I blow it out. I'm running out of this color. This bottle needs a refill. A lot of people have been asking me, oh, how do you clean out your low leave Effie bottles? I don't clean them out um, at all. I just refill them. So when I'm out and the bottle is low, I refill it with the same color. I do not clean it out. If I need a new color, then I will get a new bottle. Hence why I have like over 140 low leave Effie bottles. Um, but yeah, I don't clean them out. I just get a new one. Like the primary magenta I used, I actually did not have primary magenta in a squeeze bottle. So I just got a new bottle and filled a new one. So um, yeah, and if you're interested in purchasing anything from Loli Vefi, you know you can save 10% off using code CANELA10 on the Loli Vefi website. All right, so this looks interesting, right? Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna start down here and go that way. Let's go.
Now, if that's not bright and colorful, I don't know what is. That is insane. And the cells are insane. Wow. I'm See, I'm so pleasantly surprised with this. It's so tropical to me. I think that's the word. It's very tropical. Um, I really like this side better more than this side. When I like, I tell everybody when I'm teaching a class in person that you gotta learn to use both your right hand and your left hand. Um, super duper important when, at least for me, it is important to be using both hands because when you're going this way, you're not gonna hold your hair dryer this way. It, it just doesn't make sense for you to be twisting your arm and going this way when you can just literally hold it properly going this way, right? And then when I go this way, I switch hands and I go this way. I'm not doing this or this, or you know what I mean? So it's one of the things I teach in my classes is you gotta learn to use both hands. So you can see there's a lot more cells and I wouldn't say muddy, but it definitely blended more than it did on this side. But I love this. This is crazy. It's so colorful. Mary, job well done on the color palette there. And quite frankly, um, there's nothing I want to fix on this at all. I don't think I want to touch anything um, except maybe right here. I'm going to blow a little bit here just to kind of give it a little bit of a curve. I'm going to do that. See, it's not moving much on me because I don't have enough base paint. So that could be part of my issue when I blew this side out. I, I, when I was spreading it with my spatula, I knew I didn't have enough and I was being a lazy person. And I said, ah, don't worry about it. I'll just add enough paint. But not having enough base paint will hinder your results. Will It will mess with your results, but yeah, I don't have too much white base on here to blow it the way I want. So I'm gonna leave it without getting my microphone. Wow, this is so colorful. Okay, that's it. I'm going to fix my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody, before I show you the close-up, don't forget to take your stick and scrape those drips. All right, do all four sides, come back 10 minutes later, do it again, then a third time, and then you should be good. Look how colorful this is. This is insane. I'm really loving this. I do miss the 24 karat gold though. So if I were to do this again, I would add a touch of 24 karat gold. Although it's not lacking cells, so that's for sure. It might be lacking a little shimmer though, although there's the two iridescence in here by Pebbles. So when I turn the lights off, we'll see if we see any shimmer. But uh, the 24 karat gold would have definitely added um, a lot more shimmer, but I wanted to stay true to Mary's color palette and do exactly what she did. So let's see what it looks like with the lights off. All right, the flash is on and yeah, there's shimmer in there because of the ear. Oh, yep. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. You can definitely see shimmer. There's lots of shimmer in there for sure. Most definitely, but I still think some gold would have been pretty in here as well. But I'm loving it the way it is. Ooh, look at that. Let's move on over here super quick without making you guys dizzy. Yeah, there's a lot of shimmer in here. All right.
there you have it everybody um let me know what you guys think about this piece in the comments below mary if you're watching let me know what you think um this piece is available for purchase as i mentioned it's a 12 by 24 inch canvas uh, and if you are interested you can email me at canela Siraco at gmail.com if you want an e uh, calendar as well you can email me um, check out the description below. It's got a lot of discounts for a lot of different companies. If you're wanting to buy any of the products I use and get a discount, check it out below. Um, that is it for me. Um, don't forget, um, see, I was going to say Naples, Florida again. I'm just so used to saying it. I got to remember Charlotte, North Carolina, February 2023. If you're interested in details, email us. That's it for now, guys. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.